Lenny Rudo here for Boat US Magazine. When you're on a boat, your most important lifeline to the outside world, it's your VHF radio. Now, most of you probably already know the basics of VHF radio operation. Things like, in an emergency, call the Coast Guard on channel 16. Now, if you're not familiar with the basics of VHF operation, head for BoatUS.com. On the magazine section of the website, we have an article on VHF protocol that's very informative. Aside from that, today we're going to talk about three tips that will help you make even better use of your VHF. Ready for tip number one? Always make sure your antenna is completely vertical. See, here's the thing. When your antenna sits cocked at an angle, it's not going to get the best range. The signal radiates at 180 degrees from the tip. So anytime it's tilted, you're not getting as much range as you can. To maximize the distance you can communicate, you really want that antenna completely vertical. Tip number two, when you're speaking into the mic, hold it at a 90 degree angle to your face and don't smash it up against your mouth or speak directly into it. If you do so, your own breath can cause wind noise in the mic. Tip number three, make sure that your radio is DSC active. This means the Coast Guard will know your exact position if you ever have to call them in an emergency. Remember that in order to have DSC active, your chart plotter and your VHF have to be interfaced with each other. You also have to register your VHF with an MMSI number with the Coast Guard so they have all the information about your boat. Now don't worry, this is actually a really easy process. You can register for an MMSI number for free at BoatUS.com. And on top of that, having your units interfaced is not a big deal. We're talking about connecting two wires here, people. A few minutes on the magazine section of the website and you'll know how to do it, no problem. I'm gonna tell you right now, folks, out of all three tips, the most important one is making sure your radio is DSC active. In fact, Coast Guard statistics tell us that even though all the fixed mount VHFs sold these days, and in fact for the last decade, have the ability to use DSC, only a small fraction are actually activated. So if you're uncomfortable with doing the process yourself and you don't want to deal with interfacing your VHF with your GPS, please by all means take your boat to a pro and let them do it. Just make sure you get it done. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any comments for us, please leave them in the box below. And we hope we see you around on BoatUS.com.